Welcome to this lab. In this lab, we will be creating grants. So quickly before we start the lab, once again, let's briefly discuss what grants are. Grants is one of the ways to apply access control on a customer master key. Grants enable you to programmatically delegate the U.S. customer master keys to other AWS principals. The principals can be another user within your account or a user in another account as well. A user with the right permission can create grants for other users. The grantee can use the token generated when the grant is created to perform encryption, decryption, and other actions. The grantee then can grant permissions to other users if the grantee is allowed to create grant. So if I get a grant from someone, I can create a grant with the permissions that I have. Now the actions you see on the window, KMS create grant, list grants, and revoke grant. This is added to the key policy whenever you choose someone as a user and you can check this through the key policy this is my encryption keys console I'm gonna click on my customer master key with KMS generated key material and if I click on switch to policy view under key policy then I will able to see somewhere on the lower side action of create grant list grant and revoke grant. Now these are the actions that will let us create and revoke grants. Before we start creating grants, let's create a new user with no permissions at all. And let's see how we can give him access to the customer master key using grants. I'm gonna go to users. I'm gonna click on add user. For the name, I will give the user name of user D and programmatic access. I will not be attaching any policies to this user. The user has no permissions. I'm gonna create the user anyway. And I will be given access key ID and secret access key. Now I will use the access key ID and secret access key to create a new user profile on my command line interface. So I'll copy the access key ID. Let me move on to my command line interface. And here I will say AWS configure to configure a new user with profile of user D. And here I will paste the access key. I will paste the secret access key. I will enter the region name US East 1 and the default output format. I'll just press enter. And then I have my user D set up. Once I have the user D set up, I can now start creating grants for user D. In this list of users, user B can access the customer master key that we are about to delegate access to. User D does not have any access at this point, and I'm about to give user D permission to use my key. The user B will be creating the grant for user D. So first of all, Let's start with encrypting something using user B's profile. The command will be AWS KMS encrypt dash dash plain text of hello and KMS and key ID of alias my KMS generated key and finally profile of user B and I am able to encrypt because user B is allowed access to that key what if I try the same encryption with user D so I'm gonna press the up arrow to bring my last command and just change the profile from user B to user D and try to encrypt I will be denied access access denied exception and this is because user D has no IAM policy and user D is not explicitly given access on a key policy. So what we can do is we can use grants to create a grant token that can be used by user D to encrypt and decrypt. If you go to the KMS documentation, 
for the command line interface and scroll down under the list of available commands. The third command that you will see is create grant. So I'm going to click on that command. In the description you can see that it says adds a grant to the customer master key. The grant specifies who can use the customer master key and under what conditions. Let's see how the command is actually formed. You can see that you need to start with the command create grant. You need to pass in the key ID, the grantee, principal, and operations. Everything else is optional. Now, under the operations flag, you can pass in a list of operations that you will allow the grantee to perform with that grant. In our case, we will be only passing in crypt. So let's move back to the command line. The command to create grant is AWS KMS create grant dash dash key dash ID and this is where you paste the key ID and you cannot use the alias this time. So I'm going to find the key ID. So ARN of my key copy this and paste that say dash dash grantee dash principal and this is where you put the ARN of the grantee so I'm gonna go back to my user dashboard so here I come find user D and I'll copy the user ARN and I paste that and dash dash operations and this is where I put encrypt only right now in here I can also put decrypt and create grants but for now I will only put encrypt and finally dash dash profile of user B and you see that I get a return of grant token a long piece of text and this is what we need for the next step and also the grant ID now I will use this grant token with the profile of user D to encrypt a plain text let's try that out now AWS KMS encrypt plain text of hello dash dash key dash ID now I do have to provide the key ID so I'm gonna copy the key ID I used earlier paste that and I have to provide grant dash tokens and paste in this text over here and finally profile of user D because we want to encrypt this time with user D and as you can see right here I'm able to encrypt using the grant token. So we have successfully performed an encrypt operation using the grant token. What if I try to generate data keys with that grant token? So I'll say AWS KMS generate data key grant token of I'll paste in the grant token first dash dash key ID and I'll paste in the key ID and when I generate a data key I have to pass the size of the key so I'm going to say number of bytes 256 and finally profile of user D because we want to see if user D can generate data key with this grant and you can see access is denied for generating data key and what I can do is I can create another grant with instead of just encrypt I also say generate data key right if I want the grantee to generate data key as well then I will add that in the operations and then I use that grant token to create or generate the data key now you know how to use grants to 
give a user access to a customer master key if you don't want the user to have the grant anymore all you need to do is to revoke that grant from the grantee to do that let's find the command on the KMS documentation I'm going to scroll down and there's a command to revoke grant and the command to revoke grant is revoke grant you pass in the key ID you pass in the grant ID and that will remove the grant I hope you have a better idea of what grants is after doing the lab and grants is just one of the ways you can apply access control to a customer master key and with that we've come to the end of this lab I'll see you in the next lesson